The Adventure Driver 536.40 has released a few days ago. If you're a competitive gamer, should you upgrade to this latest driver? Is it stable? How is it against the older driver? Now we're going to test this in only competitive games using only competitive settings with our 5800 X3D and our RTX 3060. We've run these tests multiple times until we have consistent results. And we have used a capture card on an external PC for recording so there is no performance loss during all these days. So let's start off with Call of Duty Modern Warfare Synthetic Benchmark. Let's go. All right, here we go. And we can see in here, it looks pretty much the same for our older driver and our new driver. We do have lesser RAM uh, utilization, but more VRAM utilization versus the older driver in here. GPU power is more or less the same. CP power, more or less the same. Oh, 0.1% low, so a little bit lower in here, but it could be margin of error. Like, if look at that one, it's just picking up. Let's go with um, competitive settings with 1440p DLCs. Let's try that one out. Here we go. Competitive settings 1440p with DLCs quality. And looks like there's a good start for our older driver. Let's see, and our new driver has get shot. And in here we can see oh look at that ram v ram usage with our new driver it has increased quite a lot although our ram usage is quite lower compared to the old driver performance is more or less the same in this one i mean it's pretty much margin error we might as well test this one out these two drivers out on the real world like game like almazra and warzone so let's try that one out and here we are almazra at competitive 1080p and it looks like our new driver could be Peter. looks like it yep uh, vram is more or less the same ram usage is lesser but yeah um results are more or less the same that's mostly margin of error here and we've got probably a slightly higher gpu power uh yeah and in here Obviously, the model is the same. Let's go with competitive 4040p using DLSS quality. And we can see in here that uh, it looks like our older driver seems to have a head start in here. Our older driver is using more VRAM and more RAM. So, and it's also using more power as well. So, but our new driver seems to be doing okay. Look, it's picking up in here. The 0.1% lows are much better now at this part and it's actually kicking up. So yeah, I think it's good if you're using the LEDs. Let's try a different game. Apex Legends. Here we have Apex Legends and we're going to use competitive settings right here. So yes, pretty much competitive settings, boys. Let's start with our uh, firing range. Okay, firing range. Here we go. Smokes. And explosions and looks like our new drivers is actually much more better. Let's see how it turns out with heavy action scenes, the stability, and here we go. Our new driver is much more stable. Yep, so better and on still shots it's actually much better as well in terms of performance. Look at that one. It's maxed out its FPS compared to the older driver. Uh, it's also using less power. Slightly less VRAM, but slightly more memory, but that's fine. Let's move on to our next game. Okay, and here we have a Fortnite. We're going to test out all three APIs with Fortnite, DX12, DX11, and Performance Mode. Let's start off with DX12, and these are competitive settings for DX12. Let's do this. All right, now here we are. And now at the start, it looks like our older driver seems to have an upper hand in here, but I want you guys to focus on this entire run in here. Um, do note that the older driver, this is the best run that I have with our older driver. There's a frame time spike in there, and there's a much more bigger frame time spike on our older driver. So yes, in terms of stability, it looks like our new driver is actually much more stable. Look at that one, 0.1% lows, quite a big difference. 1% lows, quite a big difference in terms of VRAM, uh, we're using a little bit more VRAM, but that doesn't really matter. Right? It's much more, the new driver is much more stable in DX12, and like I said, 
this one this is probably like our third run and it was okay whereas on the previous driver it took us a lot of times before actually we get a, a bit of result let's go dx living okay right now it looks like we've got like a bit there 0.1 percent lows on our new driver and yeah power is more the same vram more or less the same ram is just about 200 megabytes lisa all right let's go for more action scenes in here uh, very close but there we go there's a frame type spike in there um this new driver is yep it's much more stable look at that one 140 percent low boys um it's just dropped in there so yeah pretty happy with this one i'm pretty happy with this new driver yep yep pretty good pretty good okay let's move on to performance mode all right so here we have performance mode and yeah let's try this one out okay here we have performance mode and it looks like uh, it's more or less the same in here vram's the same ram about 200 megabytes least so yeah we got a, a little bit like lower 0.1 percent lows in it but you see there's a print time spike in there so yep it's caught up we've got better one percent lows in here and better average fps for a new driver so definitely this is a pretty uh good driver I would definitely upgrade to this driver if you're a Fortnite player. And if you want more of these test boys, if you want more like driver test things and up to date driver test things, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, yep, pretty much. It's a it's a pretty good driver in here, this one. So yes, yes, let's stick with this driver. Let's move on to our next game, Valorant. Let's see if there's any difference with Valorant on our new driver. We are using competitive settings 1080p on this one, just for the sake of um, comparison. Okay, here we go. Uh, look more or less the same in here. And yeah, looks like our older driver could be could be slightly better, slightly. All right. Um, yeah, that's uh, more or less the same. I mean, it, the new driver is using a little bit less RAM. Yep. No, they're, they're really close. They're really close. I think it could be the old driver. Older driver is probably better and put one percent lows, but that's pretty much it. Let's move on to our next game, PUBG. So here we go, PUBG, and we're going to be testing on competitive settings again at DX11 enhance on this one so yes we're going to be doing like a running and a still shots so let's start off with some running shots in here see if there's any difference between the two and here we go looks like our new driver could be doing better in this one um nah not not really looks like our older driver is catching up vrams more or less the same with both look at the gpu power on both there's 360 watts they're more or less the same i think the older it's a bit it's a bit hard so let's look at this one looks like on still shots our new our older driver seems to be doing better on this one yeah everything else is more or less the same apart from the performance on this one so the older driver seems to favor uh, PUBG so yes and speaking of the old driver if you want to check out the difference between this one of 536.23 against the previous driver why don't you check out this video right here and I'll see you guys over there